What is up everybody? So in this video, I'm gonna look at a portrait shoot that I did a few weeks ago. Um, I used my Nikon F100 and my uh, 24 to 70, and it was my first time shooting a roll of Ilford XP2. So to start off this shoot, we were shooting inside in a pretty well lit house. Um, I was pretty comfortable shooting ISO 400 inside because it was very well lit and the um, light was coming through the blinds so we could just tilt them a little bit and get some nice soft light. And I shot pretty much everything at an aperture of about 2.8 and then shutter speeds ranging from 1 60th to 2 50th depending on how close and far away from the windows. So after shooting inside, we moved outside to take some photos to finish off the roll of XP2. When I was finished shooting the roll of XP2, I noticed it was a pretty nice looking backyard and so I loaded up a roll of Portra 400 and decided to take some photos out there.
So while shooting the roll of Portra 400, I decided to throw the Nikon 105mm f2.5 on the camera. Uh, I thought it'd be a fun time to play around with it, get some little headshotty things and test it out a little bit. So what did you guys think of the results? Um, let me know in the comments which photos were your favourites and um, if you've ever shot XP2 before, how, how your experiences were with it. I'm pretty happy with the results of this roll of XP2. It was sort of a lowish contrast, very fine grain, very clean film and that's something that I like um, when I'm shooting just a lot of black and white unless I intentionally want to go for a very high contrast gritty sort of style where I'll maybe push some um, HP5 or some Tri-X. Um, but one of the things I like the most about this film is it is C41 processed. So I get all my film developed and scanned at a lab at the moment and this film or the XP2 is only 50 cents more expensive than a roll of HP5 to buy but when I get my film developed and scanned it is five dollars more for me to get the black and white process rather than C41 color processing. So I save myself about five dollars if I shoot $5 per roll if I shoot the XP2, which is a decent little saving. The other thing about that is different lab techs sometimes develop your film at different labs depending on how they do it in their systems. Um, so you can get varying results if people are hand developing black and white film. With the C41 colour you get very consistent results because it all goes through a machine and it's all processed very accurately and the same. So that's another bonus for this film. But when I get around to developing and scanning all my own film at home, I will probably stick to HP5 as my main film just because the C41 chemicals, I don't really want to deal with that and I just want to do black and white developing at home. But overall, I'm very happy with this shoot and how the XP2 performed. I'm also very happy with the Portra 400 shots. Um, yeah, so if you guys like the video, please um, subscribe. It really helps the channel out. I'm just going to keep you yeah, trying to make videos in these tough times. Thanks everyone.